Hello, nerds. Happy Homebrew Thursday. Wednesday. What day is it? Thursday. Pretty sure it's Thursday. Um, I've been absent from the tubes for a while. Um, and and every now and then, Mike Dean gives me a little, a little jab that I haven't put any videos up. So, Michael, my friend, this is for you. Um, I actually have stuff happening. Um, I'm drinking a beer here, um, which I believe... Uh, qualifies as hashtag Hayes Nation. Um, this beer is probably regrettably called Hoppleberry Dinglefinger. No. Dingleberry Hopplefinger, I think. Um, that you can you can thank uh, Chris Pastian for that ridiculous moniker. Um, Hunter and Ales, check him out. But this is a New England IPA that we brewed um, with a bunch of BrewTube nerd guys. Um, me, Aaron, Tyler, Chris Pastian, uh, Nate, Pico. You may have heard of him. He's got the beard and sometimes talks like he's from Russia. Uh, is that it? I feel like there was somebody else. Maybe that's it. And we were just... Easy, George Jones. Um, we were just on our way to pick up uh, Wallace that day. So, um, my memory from that time is a little fuzzy. So, but this is basically a New England IPA um, with hop hash and peco. Um, all the hops smuggled in a suitcase from uh, Peachtree City, Georgia. And if I do have to say so, it's pretty damn tasty. Um, I think maybe the Peco in a beer like this needs to pair with a Citra or a Mosaic. Just to kind of round out the tropicaliness. This has some nice sort of orange... Jesus Christ, George. Know your place. Um, it's got a lot of really kind of uh, juicy citrus notes, but it's not as as I would like um, what do we do for quantities I believe it was four ounces of hop hash in the whirlpool uh, just a little bit of magnum to bitter it uh, and then I had I believe eight ounces of peco um, we maybe did if I were to guess I would say we did two ounces maybe late in the boil and then uh, double three ounce dry hop so um, anyway it's a fucking tasty beer So I figured I better knock one of these out for IPA day, um, and then I have a little bit of a little bit of work to do. Um, you can see this MP saison. This is a saison from my dude Mashikins Mash Paddle um, that I need to get drank and pseudo scored and and uh, from a little collaboration thing that, that me and some of the nerds did. Um, not me and some of the nerds. Tyler really whipped everybody into shape for this thing so um, that's pretty sweet um, there's been some ridiculous beers in this thing so far and this is a saison i believe brewed with black tea so that ought to be pretty sweet um, everyone using the plastic bottles see how they work um, which so far i think they've worked awesome unless your name is jake wolstad and then pretty much every bottle jake had leaked <laughs> which is a real bummer but you know what are you gonna do Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Uh, what else do I have going on? So I have two beers in the fermentation fridge that I just, right now, as, as right as I poured that beer, um, I'm taking it from 72 to 50 to uh, cold crash. That's 10 degrees Celsius for you nerds over the pond. Um, and I am going to gelatin one of them. So I thought, why not gelatin it on camera? Well, I'm not even going to gelatin it on camera. I'm going to bloom the gelatin. Live. Live on the internet, we're going to bloom some gelatin, kids. Um, so I have two beers down there. One is a uh, stone fruit floor device that is dry hopped with Amarillo. Um, so there you go. You can live action watch this gelatin sit on top of water. That's really good. Very good. We'll put it over here. Um, so the floor device was actually fermented with the same yeast as this, which is... 
Now my Haze Blend, which is a blend of uh, 1318 London Ale 3 and uh, 644, um, which everyone knows and loves now, um, and is set to become the new Dropkick Nate Yeast. Um, and also, the other beer I have is a um, the Centennial Blonde recipe that's been on Homebrew Talk forever, um, which is a super awesome beer. Um, so I've made that recipe for the, I don't know, probably fourth or fifth time. I really, it's just a good, solid beer beer. Um, I didn't have any Centennial, so this one is Cascade and Palisade, which I've never used. Um, and the Cascades are from Tenacious Badger Hops, which is just a little bit east of me in Wisconsin. Um, if nothing else, the logo's red and the name Tenacious Badger Hops. It's really better than Hop Union. So, um... Love supporting the local guys. Um, we met the guys from Tenacious Badger at, at NHC, and they were awesome. Uh, predictably, they're from Wisconsin, so awesomeness sort of runs in the family here. But that's a cool little beer. It should be about a 4.85%. Um, just a blonde, not a lager, but it drinks a lot like a, like a lager. Um, and that's what this gelatin is headed for, because that beer should be... Crystal, crystal clear, and I think it might be anyway. Um, usually when I brew it, I don't gelatin it, but I thought, I saw the gelatin, and I said, oh, I haven't gelatined anything in a while, because most of the beers I've been making lately have been intended to look like mud. So I figure I've got one hazy beer down there, uh, one clear beer, and then I just got to clear out some keg space by, you know, Sunday, and I'll keg them up Sunday and be good to go. So, happy IPA day, kids. Um, that's what's going on in my life. I'm going to try and brew again. Um, maybe this weekend. It's suddenly like 60 degrees here when it's been in the 80s. Um, oddly, very cold and rainy today. So, we'll see. It's a junky weekend. I might try and throw down a little, a little brew day. And uh, don't know what I'll brew. Maybe a pale ale. Maybe just a regular pale ale. Um... I also have a pound of uh, Medusa hops, which is a, a new nerd hop over here, a Neo-Mexicanus. So um, hops that are actually native to the U.S. And, the, and, you know, supposedly they're awesome. I've had, I've had a beer with them, but I think they were blended with other stuff, so it's sort of hard to tell. So maybe just a single Medusa thing would be cool. Um, I don't know what the... It's one of those beers that the further you get into the pint, and maybe it's just because it warms up a little bit, um, the hop flavors really round out, and uh, shit, that's not bad. I should really, um, I'm really trying to stay off the teat on this one, and uh, get some bottled up and and ship it out to the guys that brewed it, and uh, and and probably some guys that weren't here that were here in spirit with us. Um, you know, when we brewed this one, we uh, definitely had some, some nerds in mind. Hashtag Haze Nation. Um, well, I guess we're not shuffling anymore. We're just into the full country mode of this thing. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Happy IPA Day. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Wrap this thing up in under nine minutes. Pretty close. Uh, Michael Dean. Cheers, my friend. And the rest of you nerds, Yandu.